Okay guys, so these are the basic materials you're going to need. I've just got a piece of um, very thick plywood here. It's got a very big hole drilled through the middle. And it has two 45 degree angles on each side. That's going to act as our riser. Uh, you're also going to need four pieces of PVC or electrical conduit. I'm using this orange electrical conduit because it's a bit thicker than PVC and it will give me a higher draw weight and a powerful bow. Um, each piece needs to be 420 millimeters long, as you can see I've got there. You're also going to need a couple of tools and some scrap wood that you've got lying around and a few screws, plus some paracord. Okay, so the next step is to just take a heat gun and he evenly heat up the PVC until it's nice and floppy. If you don't have one of these heat guns, you can also use a stove top. Just hold the PVC above the stove until it heats up and is nice and floppy. Okay, so now the PVC is uh, nice and floppy. And we're just going to clamp it down at an angle with this flat piece of wood. As you can see, after squishing them down at the angle, they get quite thick here and get thinner as they go down. That's called a taper, and that's going to make them bend evenly when we put strain on them. Okay, so now you just want to start screwing your limbs into your riser like I'm doing here. Okay guys, so I've screwed in my limbs. Now I'm just going to add another piece of PVC shaped um, just like we did here to reinforce it. Another thing too, uh, I switched from the plywood to um, a hardwood for the uh, riser because the plywood um, didn't take the screws very well. Okay, so I've reinforced it with this extra bit of PVC and I've added two zip ties to each piece to hold it to the limbs. And it's just screwed straight in there like that. Okay guys, so the next step is to cut out your pulleys. I'm just using a hole saw to drill um, a hole in a thin piece of wood. And now I'm just going to unscrew the hole saw off the drill. Okay, so as you can see we have our pulley in there. And we're just going to push it out. Okay, so that's our pulley cut out. Now what you need to do is get a small file and file a nice groove along the pulley. Make sure you file all the way around the entire pulley. Okay, so what you can see I've done now is just put some bolts through the end and I've installed my little pulley here. And as you can see, it turns quite freely. And I've got a big bolt going through there and I've done the same on the other side. You're also going to want to put a screw just under the pulleys on both sides of your limbs. For threading your string, you want to take a 3 metre length of paracord, cord, shoelaces, whatever the hell you got. And then you just want to lay it out like this. And then take one end, poke it through there like that. Next, take the other end, poke it through the other side like that. And just keep pulling them through so that they should line up like that. Okay, now what you want to do is just tie this side of the string off to the bolt we put through there and this side of the string off to the bolt we put through there. Okay, so now the string is all tied on. You just want to simply cut off the excess. So the next step is to make our handle. I've just bent this piece of metal into this shape using a vise and a hammer. And then I've drilled a hole just under where the arrow sits. And so that can fit into there just like that. That gives you a good handle to grip onto. But it needs to be enhanced a bit more. As you see that doesn't look very comfortable. So what we're going to do first is wrap from here to here in tape. Thick layers of tape. Okay, so we've wrapped the handle in tape. Now it's a little bit more comfortable, but I think it needs to be a bit better. So we're going to wrap the, um, all the handle part in thick cord, so that it's really nice and comfortable. Okay, so for wrapping the handle, I'm just going to use this K9 
camo army rope and it looks like it'll be nice and comfortable okay so I've wrapped my entire handle in this cord as you can see now it feels really quite comfortable fits in the hand nicely and this little lip here just curves under my hand quite nicely and gives a very comfortable feel to it and that just goes in there as you can see and then the next step is to simply super glue that in so that it doesn't wobble around I'm just going to use this super glue and I'll put it all over this steel shaft and then put it in and leave it for a minute to dry okay so the glue in the handle is now dry as you can see it's nice and strong we've also added four screws going around the outside and then threaded on elastic bands and that's going to act as your arrow rest so your arrow just sits in there and it can slide through quite easily and it won't damage the fletchings because the rubber bands open up as the arrow goes through and it, uh, it's a great working arrow rest I've also added a D loop which allows me to clip on an archery release aid so that it's easier to shoot and it doesn't hurt my fingers when I'm drawing it back okay so that's ready to fire now we'll take a couple of shots and then we'll paint it guys so at this point we're just going to test fire to see how it works clip on our release works fine now let's paint it. Now we're just going to put a base coat of this all-purpose primer onto the bow. And as you can see, I've taped up the string and the handle. Okay, so now we're just going to paint it black with this um, matte black paint. Okay guys, so as you can see it's fully painted, and now we'll just do a couple of shots.